So Luke, for your big signing announcement, we've dragged you around the whole arena, but uh, now we're on the roof of Viola Arena. I think we found the perfect spot. Pretty spectacular up here. Yeah, it's a hell of a view. We've got some boat races going on in the <laughs> background and all sorts. It's a beautiful day in Cardiff, so you can't really get much better spot than this, I don't think. I don't think so. And I, I, I think um, we, we should make a bit of a fanfare about your announcement, because I think you've been in Cardiff so long now that maybe we, we take you a little bit for granted. But, um, you know, you, you've been part of the furniture player, now coach. Uh, just what, what's your passion for this club? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, this is coming up to probably my ninth year as a part of the, the Devils Professional Organization, and then probably an additional sort of four or five years beyond that in the in the junior and ENL setups as well. But um, I think Cardiff for me is is home these days. I've been here for so long now, and um, I just uh, I've loved every minute that I've played for this club, whether it be in the junior system and the. Uh, in the uh, non-professional side of things at the ENL and then obviously stepping up to the Devils and every year is very different and every year is just enjoyable so you know for me it's it's uh, it's definitely part of the woodwork for my life and uh, I can't I can't imagine you know life without having been a part of this organization at this point. So I asked you uh, just off camera uh, whether I just refer to you as, as coach now or whether there's still the opportunity to bring that, that firebrand style of hockey you once did. You said if, if needs must, you would put the skates back on, but it's, it's, it's suit and on the bench now. Yeah, yeah, predominantly uh, the coaching side of things these days. Um, I mean, the league's come on so much over the last few years. I mean, you just have to look at some of the guys who, who do play on our fourth line and, and uh, you know, it's, it's a tough it's a tough roster to crack in its own right. I'm getting on a little bit these days and, um, you know, I, I'm just happy to help out the organization in whatever possible way I can to help us have a successful season. And if that's on the bench, then great. And um, if at times it's needed that I need to go onto the ice, I'll make sure that I'm in the best possible physical shape to be able to contribute there as well. Um, I'm stating the obvious when I, I say, you know, you're an intelligent guy, you're, you're a bright guy. We, we see that in your life outside of hockey. Um, you obviously know the game very well. Was, was it an aspiration to get into coaching? Um, I mean, I, I've always had a really good relationship with Lordo, even uh, back in my playing days when he was coaching and stuff. And I, I think we've, we threw a few ideas about in back in those days too. And um, I've obviously, I started playing the game when I was three years old. Mm -hmm. So I've been around the game for a very, very long time. But um, I hadn't specifically identified coaching as a, a role to get into. But I think a lot of that came from uh, the passion that I see coming from Lordo. Um, the sort of the style he likes to approach things and how that matched up with you know both my style of play and also the sort of the way that I my ethos and that's sort of the coaching side of things and we have a really good relationship and I think that's a big part of the reason why I the coaching side of things appealed to me in the first place well I, I was going to ask without delving too deep into the room you know I've had the pleasure of dealing with Andrew Lord he's a great guy but he is an intense guy I don't think that's any secret you know, when you're with him every day for, for sort of eight nine months of the year how does that dynamic work uh, we have a good, I mean, you're, you're absolutely right, obviously. I think everybody can see that he's a super intense guy. He's very details orientated. And, um, you know, he's just so passionate about the game that that's the way that it, it comes out. And um, I think that that's what makes him a big success as a coach is, is that element to him. But on a daily basis, I mean, there's, our relationship is, is based around there's an element of that, of course. But then, you know, I like to think as well that, with a, because of our relationship, there are parts of times when I can calm him down a little bit or we can talk things through where he normally wouldn't be able to talk things through with someone, which, which may also help him a little bit. But, um, you know, he, his, uh, his passion has is, is got to have an outlet in some way. Um, and it, it, for me, it's not that difficult to, um, to, to work with. I mean, I, I just see it as his way of getting his passion across. And um, I don't find it difficult at all. And, and I think that it really the relationship works really well between the two of us. And again, without prying too much, and I'm always interested because of the fact he likes to be involved in everything, he obviously trusts you. What's that delegation like? What, what sort of responsibilities come your way? Is it some of the video stuff? It's, you know, uh, are you running the defensive side of things? What, what kind of falls under your remit? Um, there's a variety of different things. I mean, it, I try to get involved in as much as possible. I mean, ultimately, the final decision comes down to Lordo, and Lordo needs to do things the way that he sees fit because he's the guy with the experience, and he knows, he knows what he's doing a lot more than I do. But... Typically, I, I, I like to give suggestions on certain aspects of games during the game, whether that be forwards, defense, um, video analysis that we do as well. I help in, in those regards as well. But ultimately, it, it's just one of those things that creates conversation um, for him to get a slightly different viewpoint on things at times. Um, a lot of the time, we just tend to agree on a lot of things anyway. Um, so, you know, that's also nice for him. I, I'm hoping that it's backing up his opinion on things. Um, but a lot of, a lot of areas to, to different degrees, I would say, yeah. 
So you've obviously seen the Devils put together this year, working with Lordo. You've seen other teams around the league. It's fair to say I've heard the, the, the term arms race used a little bit in terms of there's a lot of good CVs or resumes coming into the league this year. Um, it could be the best standard yet. What do you see as the main threats? How excited are you? you know, what, what, what's your sort of take on the season ahead? Oh, I'm definitely excited. Um, I think you know, the amount of effort Lordo puts into the recruitment and the referencing and all of the, the eff, all of the work that he does to make sure that we get the right guys in every year on year, you identify from the previous season gaps that you think you need to be better in, areas you need to be better in, areas that you were really good in that you don't want to mess up. And, you know, he puts so much time and effort into those things when we're recruiting new guys that I think, as I do most years, basically, that we've got, uh, we've got the right guys in to make that balance just right again. In terms of the, the level, I mean, obviously, the, the league just gets better every year. And I think a lot of that comes from GB's success. Um, I think a lot of it comes from the success that we've had, both our team and Nottingham, over the years in the CHL. Um, that This league is getting more of a name for itself year on year. Um, so that's not entirely surprising to me that you see the standard of player that you get coming across to these, um, to these teams. And, you know, your Sheffields, your Belfast, your Nottinghams, they're always going to be a threat every year. Guildford seems to be getting better year on year. They, they're a fast team. Um, they're difficult to play against. So, you know, it's really unpredictable. And it's nice to have a league where on any given night, you know, any team can beat any other team. And we saw it last season, bottom of the table beats the top of the table. And, you know, there's, there's some real great battles across the top of the table too. And I think if you look at the playoff final between us and Belfast, that was probably one of the most exciting playoff finals we've seen in the Elite League era. Just the top two teams in the league really going at it head to head for 60 minutes. And that was a great thing to be a part of. And, you know, we live and die for those sorts of games. And the more of those that we can get every year, the better. Here, here. And, and just finally, Luke, it seems strange to say on a beautiful day like this, but I guess summer ends on Monday, doesn't it, with, uh, with, with training camp starting. How important are those first few days and, and the role you've got, Lordo, your back office guys, Katrina, Fee and so forth, in, in getting the new guys uh, into Cardiff, feeling comfortable, getting the, the, the ethos? What, what, what's next week going to look like for you? Yeah, next week, almost always the busiest week of the season. And every person in that office, I think a lot of that goes on behind the scenes that a lot of the fans and, you know, people who follow the team don't necessarily see. You know, every guy who's coming into this country, whether they be new or returning, there's a lot of stuff that all the office staff have to do to make sure that it's as comfortable and easy as a transition as possible because you have one week and then we're straight into our first preseason game. So we try to make it as easy as possible um, with all of the staff doing as much as possible to try and make it comfortable for them that they can just focus on their hockey from the second that they get into Cardiff um, and yeah everybody is just running around making sure ticking things off to to make sure that everything's ready ready to go for Monday. Well Luke I, I make a, a mental note not to take you for granted in Cardiff because you are a, a big big part of this organization great to see you back and good luck for the season ahead. Thank you.